Okay guys, we have two topics. We will provide an update on the abrupt and significant brightening of the long-term flux level of Tabby Star and show that it now looks like it is in a rounding off phase and may be about to start dimming back down once again. And we want to plug a Kickstarter campaign by physicist Dr. Tom Campbell in which he will investigate the question, do we live in a virtual reality? Dr. Campbell plans to test this simulation theory by using an elaborate version of the famous double slit experiment. So from our last update on May 18th, this was the centered 25 day simple moving average of the G-band data of Tabby Star. And this simple moving average curve represents the long-term light curve of this strange star. All of these data measurements that constitutes this light curve were taken by Bruce Gary and are represented by the light blue detached circles, while the connected darker blue circles with the red borders represent the long-term light curve. And in our last video, we showed that we had an approximate 2% brightening of this star in only 40 days from April 8th to May 17th. And we also showed that the brightening trend seemed to be leveling off at that time. So let's now move forward in time and add the new G-band data points to this curve. As you can see, the centered 25-day simple moving average flux level seems to be bobbing around the 2% level at the present time. We are looking for perhaps a rounding off and an eventual fall as the dimming begins once again as what happened with the smaller brightening event to the left of this curve. But trying to anticipate what this star does next is really just a guess. And now using the centered 25 day simple moving average as the nominal flux level, let's now derive the normalized flux light curve. So this is the set of newly calculated normalized flux with the new G-band data. And now let's look at this graphically with the data we just calculated. And as you can see, things are a little more tame than they were before and a lot lower, hanging around the nominal flux line with a slight dip now below the nominal line. So if this is something reflective, guys, that is starting to go behind the star, we expect this 2% brightening curve to begin to fall again and maybe quite quickly. And now for our second topic, we want to let you guys know about a Kickstarter campaign by physicist Dr. Tom Campbell that will investigate whether we live in a simulated reality. Materialism has failed to explain quantum mechanics experimental results and virtual reality provides a logical explanation. So Dr. Campbell will be conducting experiments using unique variations of the famous double slit experiment. I'm Tom Campbell a physicist and consciousness researcher who has worked at the leading edge of science and technology for NASA, Missile Defense, and Monroe Laboratories. In June of 2017, my scientist colleagues and I wrote and published a peer-reviewed quantum physics paper that describes how we can test the simulation hypothesis with physical experiments that are unique variations of the classic double slit experiment. There are just a couple more days left of the campaign, and we have included a link to this Kickstarter uh, campaign below this video for you guys to check out. So far, have gotten over $200,000 and thought we could surge this just a little bit more. Well, guys, that's all we have. We will see you in our next video update, so please take care.